welcome back to the Ebony Restoration Channel. For today's installment, we will be talking about seeds versus no seeds. And the reason why it's so important is because on a plant-based lifestyle, you're on that lifestyle because you want to improve your health and wellness overall. And as that, you're trying to get the best sources of nutrition, vitamins, and minerals into your diet. Someone just said this recently, when I went to go and buy my watermelon, I went to our health food store that we have here in Florida, and I went and I specifically purchased a watermelon with seeds included. And when I was talking to my friend, they were asking me why did I get the one with seeds instead of no seeds, because the ones without seeds are easier to eat, right? Right, they may be easier to eat, but the long run, it may not be best for your health. Think about it. The seeds are what provide life, the seeds of life. So you want to eat foods that have life and that are living and are able to produce life so that when it goes into your body, life will also be produced. It's just the same reason why people go on raw, foods diet, raw food diets versus a cooked food diet. Because when you're on a raw food diet or a plant-based diet, you're consuming foods at their highest nutritional value and at their highest content. And if that is the case, then you don't want to eat foods that lack the ability to produce life. Because then, in turn, you will lack the ability to produce life when you consume those things. Remember the saying, you are what you eat. And the reason why we have foods like watermelons or foods like grapes that don't have seeds is because they're hybridized. And a hybrid food is basically saying a knockoff brand. Do you really want to eat knockoff food? I don't really think you really want to eat knockoff food if you're subscribing to a plant-based diet. Now, if you're subscribing to the standard American diet, I don't really think that your mind is even in the realm of health consciousness unless you're transitioning over. The importance of this video is just to get you to be aware. Like, yes, you may be eating foods that are high in water, high in nutrients, high in vitamins, minerals, and all of those um, phytonutrients and antioxidants, but is it actually providing the ability to produce life? And you also have to keep in mind that these seedless foods, in order for them to be seedless, they have to be tampered by humans. And you don't really want to consume tampered food by humans because that's not the way that nature intended for you to consume the foods. So. If that's not enough, let's take it from the standpoint of continuing the cycle, the food cycle. So at the top of the food cycle, you have the plants. And the reason why they're at the top is because they're not dependent on another organism to survive. All they need is the information from the sun in the form of sunlight to convert the molecules and chemicals into foods that they need. Then from there, then you have the animals that eat them, including us, and the microbes that also eat from the plants. And so when that cycle starts, the sun goes to the plants, the plants give food and life to the animals, and then the animals in turn desiccate out the seeds, and then the seeds grow more plants. And so the cycle just continues and continues. And without the seeds, the cycle would end. And you don't want to end the cycle. So I'll leave you with food for thought on that one so you can be more consciously aware of what you're actually intaking into your temple. Until next time, I leave you all in peace, love, and unity.